Squishy Monster and today I'm going to make a tuxedo cake. And I'm going to scale mine down for my purpose, but the whole recipe will be available on thesquishymonster.com. And I'm actually going to deliver mine to my friend who is going through a breakup. And I hope you guys can relate that breakups are never easy, but there aren't many things that chocolate can't fix. I want to begin by mixing up my batter and in my bowl I have my room temperature egg that I've pre just kind of beaten together. And then to that I want to add in my sour cream, love that thick tang, and then I'm going to blend that together, streaming in my melted butter. After that's mixed together and it's really thick pale yellow, it's really pretty already, I want to start tipping in my chocolate sauce, which is just some hot water, some sugar, and some cocoa. And I got a really good question the other day about what kind of cocoa I should be using when you bake. And it's unsweetened cocoa powder. And on my blog, thesquishymonster.com, I'll show you the difference in colors between quality cocoa and, um, you know, a less expensive cocoa. And that's mixed in also with a little burst of espresso. And that's really going to enhance that deep, dark chocolate um, flavor. To that, I want to tip in my vanilla and pure vanilla extract. You can make your own with just some vanilla beans and some quality liquor. I like to use vodka or bourbon, and I'm going to blitz that together. And the final step is going to be melting the dry with the wet. And I've already measured and weighed out everything and sifted it. It's very important to sift out any kind of foreign particles that may be lodged in the dry mixture. So I've already sifted that out, and in three portions or so, I'm going to begin mixing in my dry to my wet. All we have to do now is pour in our batter into our pre-greased tins. And I want to address another very good question I got the other day. Can you store batters in the refrigerator? Um, you can if you desire a flat cake. So what happens is that when the dry and the wet get together, it, there's a chemical reaction that occurs. So for example, the baking powder begins to be activated. So if you must, you can separate the two and have the wet ingredients in one bowl and dry ingredients in another bowl and store it in the refrigerator until you need it and then let it all reach room temperature and then put it together and bake it off if you're in a rush or something like that. But um, so all we have to do is pour it into the tins and you can pre-measure them or you can weigh them out with a digital scale just to ensure accuracy that each um, cake will be level. So while my cakes are baking, I can start on my ganache. So I'm going to measure out about a half a cup of heavy cream and no worries, all my directions and measurements and recipe can be found on squishymonster.com. So to that, I want to weigh out four ounces of chocolate chips. Then I want to tip in just a little bit of vanilla, just like that, and some salt. And you can use kosher salt if you'd like. I like using fine salt whenever I bake or make any um, sweets, just like that. And you can utilize the um, double boiler method, or you can just zap the whole thing and do the lazy method in the microwave. That means we can also work on our whipped cream frosting. So I have some cold whipping cream or heavy cream, and I'm going to whip that together with my whisk attachment with a little bit of sifted powdered sugar, and it only counts if you sift it before you measure it. So a little bit of powdered sugar and some vanilla. And you can also infuse this with any type of liquor or liqueur as you'd like. Just a little bit of vanilla goes in there like that, and whip up the whole thing until you get a really creamy frosting consistency. Dipping my strawberries now, and even though we zapped the ganache into in the microwave, for this you want a consistent heat because this the strawberries are going to provide a garnish, which will be a focal aesthetic point. So you don't want it to be clumpy or anything like that. It is going to be crowning the cake. So I have just melted and chopped some a good quality chocolate bar, and I have I set it in, in a uh, double boiler so it provides consistent heat. And I'm just taking each strawberry and just swirling kind of a little bit, making sure it's coated evenly, dripping off excess, and having a parchment or a silk pad or whatever you want to use standing by to make sure you lay them on there like that. Just take each one and let it go dunk in the pool of chocolate. Now I want to start frosting my cake. And I love whipped cream frostings. I love it just as much as I love cream cheese frostings. And if you guys want to see me um, decorating and assembling together another cake, try watching my 4th of July cake or my strawberries and cream cake. That, those are other layer cakes that I've done. Just kind of slather it on the top of your first layer, just like that. And you can definitely split each layer into um, twos if you or halves if you would like, but I like it just like this is. Then I want to put the hat onto that one. Just kind of nestle it and nudge it right there 
like that, and then start frosting the entire thing. The fun part of dripping the chocolate and just drowning this cake in some chocolate ganache has come. So I have let my ganache set a little bit, so after you zap it, and make sure you don't make it too, too hot, you want to mix everything together, and the heat, the residual heat will help melt the chips, and you want to set it aside or pop it into a refrigerator until it's a really thick consistency, and you want to slowly just pour it on top, and you want to use just a little bit at first, and then you can just always add more. Then take a spoon, and then just kind of let it drip down the side. Here's my cake and I'm ready to shoot it on over to my friends and hopefully this boosts her mood. It's supposed to encourage feelings of euphoria, they say chocolate does. So this has got some double action chocolate going on and hopefully the tag teams are into some a little bit of happiness, a slice of happiness if you will. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and um, thank you so much for hanging out with me. This is the Squishy Monster and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!